Welcome to the Brand Doctor Podcast, strategies that help entrepreneurs build reputable and profitable brands. Here's your host, Henry Kaminsky, Jr. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Henry Kaminsky here from UniqueDesigns.net with another Brand Doctor Podcast episode. And I just want to take a second and thank everybody for reaching out and just supporting this podcast since I launched it just a couple of weeks ago. I mean, the response has been amazing. I've been hearing some great success stories from some of the folks that are listening that are actually applying this stuff. And it's just it's just amazing to watch all that and hear all of that happen. And I just want to take a second and say thanks to all of uh, my listeners. And uh, this has given me the tremendous amount of juice to keep plugging along and, and bringing you the, the heat, if you will. So I want to jump into today's episode. And we're going to kick off this week with a theme that I've created called There's Nothing Passive About Branding. And there's no such thing as the cookie cutter brand. So let's just imagine you've got a job interview or a first date that you're really, really excited about. Would you get dressed in the dark? Of course not. You would do your best to look your best. So there's nothing passive about branding here. You don't just let it happen. You make it happen. And this week we're going to be looking at specific places and ways you can learn to dress the part. So it's more than just logos and websites. It's past that into the arena of brand voice, brand tone, brand image, all of these important aspects of branding. So appearance is important, and many people miss that mark, but past that, it's what's under the hood that's just as important. So this week we're going to dive in through the layers and look at some of the practical tips for building each layer completely and solidly. So the biggest single mistake I see uh, people have when they come to me is this. They aren't clear on what their brand is all about. They want to serve everyone uh, or they don't – or they – Here's the deal. They want to serve everyone, or what happens is they try to be the, the everything to everyone and wind up being no one to anyone. So they either dream of a brand that is either everything, or they have a dream of a brand that sells something that no one wants. So over and over and over, I see those two problems, and here's the truth. One size doesn't fit all. You know, do you want a dentist performing heart surgery? Of course not. So do you want a hairdresser rebuilding your motor underneath your, you know, the hood of your car? Of course not. Although this seems obvious, it's a mistake people make over and over and over again. So here's the rule. Like I said it before. If you want to be everything to everyone, you'll end up being nothing to anyone. So today's lesson is brands are built on connecting. And it's the job of a brand to decide who it wants to connect with. So here's the first part on getting past this hurdle easily. Think of your brand in terms of connecting. One way or another, people only spend money on two reasons. To get pleasure or to remove pain. So think of your brand as a connector or a bridge, if you will. We want to connect people to the result that they desire. Getting past generalities and start thinking in very specific terms. So your brand connects people with the result that they desire. So let's look at some examples of how we've done this for some of our clients. So let's take a peek at Mike Saunders, for example. He reached out to me a few months ago, and he wanted to attract higher quality clients consistently. But when you went to his website or saw his brand presence online, I could see where the disconnect was. Because, no offense to Mike, because we went over this in strategy sessions in nauseam, but he just wasn't showing up with the authority that he needed 
to attract that higher quality clientele. So, for example, he had a lot of branding that you could see he had done on Fiverr. And you're probably saying, you know, you're a designer. You know, you could pick out a Fiverr design in two seconds. And yes, I can. But I can promise you, too, and I can put a hundred grand on it, that if I were to ask you what cheap looks like, you'd be able to answer me in two seconds. And so what we needed to do was take the image that Mike Saunders wanted to attract and actually infuse it into his own brand. So we helped him book uh, photo shoots. We helped him present his way, present himself in a way in these photo shoots to really position himself as the authority and really help him attract that higher quality client. We also started to level up a lot of his design and his look and feel for all of the digital assets. So we're working on his logo uh, right now, which we brought up notches from what it was originally. We're working on his website design right now that just version one came out amazing. All we need to do now is just tighten up a couple of things and um, we're going to be live in just a few days. And so we've come a long way. Mike has come a very long way when it comes to leveling up to attract that higher quality client uh, consistency, uh, consistently. So now he's really looking the part and um, quality will attract quality at the end of the day. So today's prescription is this. I want you to begin to think about who your brand serves. We want to look at your clients in the terms of who specifically wants needs, and uses what you provide. And this is the first step. Your brand logo, your image, your tone, your voicing, your aesthetic, everything you do inside of your brand is all about dressing correctly. And today we open this idea of, you know, dressing for the job interview or dressing for that first date. And in both scenarios, you dress up and you look your best. But what's important in today's lesson is that you understand dressing for a date or dressing for a job interview in both scenarios, you're going to dress your best, but you don't dress the same. It's not one universally perf- universal perfect outfit. And that's the same thing in branding. There isn't one perfect look or feel. You have to dress right for who you want to attract. And so there you have it, guys. Day one of the theme of not, there's nothing passive about branding. And there is nothing worse than trying to develop some sort of cookie-cutter brand and trying to become everything to everyone because it's not going to happen. You're going to fall on deaf ears. And people are just going to pass you right by, not even going to pay attention. So there you have it, guys. Another episode in the books. Hope you enjoyed it. If you find these podcast episodes valuable, please share them with a friend or colleague. Hit me up on social media. Let me know the results that you're getting. Let me know um, what you think about the podcast. And... um, I will certainly address uh, every all of the feedback because I am here to help you take your brand to the next level, and um, I'm going to do it one entrepreneur at a time. So have an awesome day, guys, and I'll catch you on the next episode. Talk soon. You've been listening to the Brand Doctor Podcast with Henry Kaminsky, Jr. To get your appointment with the doctor, visit Brand Audit at www.uniquedesigns.net.